Solar by Green Greg here, and today we're going to talk about energy rebates and tax credits that can save you tens of thousands of dollars. Are you missing out? Let's talk about it. So there's three sources of rebates and tax credits. There's the IRA, Inflation Reduction Act. There's state rebates, including funding from the IRA, also called HERA, and there's utility rebates. We will be talking about all three sources. So I'm gonna explain where to find this information and what energy efficiency home improvements are included. Okay, so let's do a brief overview of the rebates and tax credits that are available. So rooftop solar, insulation and air sealing, clothes dryers, specifically heat pump clothes dryers, which are more energy efficient than a conventional dryer, Electric stove or ovens, including induction ranges, which are more efficient. Weatherized windows and doors. Breaker boxes or circuit panels. Electric vehicles. Home heat pumps. And heat pump water heaters. Now, I'll get into more specifics on the amounts and how you can find out about the rebates and tax credits. So there's a 30% tax credit from the federal government for home solar PV, home battery, and solar hot water. But by the way, there's not a tax credit on solar pool heating. So there's also appliance rebates that are available. It's under the High Efficiency Electronic Home Rebate Act, or HERA for short. It's administered by the state energy offices starting in 2024. But by the way, it's actually funded by uh, the federal IRA Act. Uh, things like a heat pump and weatherization and so on. So I'm gonna show you where to find out about these rebates. There's a website called Rewire America. This is a nonprofit. Um, so I like to use them because I don't believe they're gonna sell you information being that they are a nonprofit. But they have an IRA calculator for rebates and tax credits. So let's get into it. And by the way, I'll leave a link to this uh, pinned in the comments. So, but let's get into it. Uh, the first step is to click the IRA savings calculator. And here you gotta put in some information. Why? Because some of these tax credits and rebates are based on your location, your income, size of your household, etc. So here I filled out a couple of things real quick and made up some numbers. Um, so put in your zip, whether you're a homeowner or renter. And by the way, renters do qualify for some portable appliances, but of course a homeowner, um, more things are applicable. Put in your household income, tax filing, household size, and then simply click calculate. And then here it gives you some information. Uh, this is preliminary information, so of course you have to verify some of this. but. Uh, you'll see here personalized incentives up to $14,000, available tax credit $7,650, estimated energy savings per year $1,500. Again, it's just an estimate, but total incentives $21,650. And then, so let's talk about the uh, appliance incentives, or sometimes people call them HERA, or Home Energy Efficiency uh, Rebate Programs. So this is money that's from the IRA, the federal government, and they have passed those funds over to the states to distribute and to administer a rebate program for these appliance items. Now, it also depends on whether your state has accepted um, the funds from the federal government for the IRA or not. These incentives are available at point of purchase. They are actually rebates, so you don't have to wait to file a tax return. There are also tax credits we'll talk about in a minute. So these rebates, for instance, heat pump, air conditioner, click on more info, and here it gives you some more information. Okay, the upfront discount. And by the way, um, some of these rebates are based on, uh, the amount is based on your income. So if you are, um, a low income household under 80%, you could get up to 100% of the cost paid. If you're a moderate income, which is about 
of the median income for your county, you get rebates up to 50% of the heat pump costs. So, um, and you would have to find this out on your state level because it varies per your state county. One county in your state might have higher income than another. So again, that's something you need to go to a state website to determine, which we'll get to that in a bit later. Um, but this just gives you some basic information. So that's the rebate part. And then there's a tax credit. The tax credit for a heat pump is 30% capped at $2,000, okay? This money you would get back as a tax credit um, when you file your federal income taxes and you have to fill out a form, which I'll get to that in a bit later. But that gives you a quick recap. And then here it gives you estimated cost and you click this to get more information about the approximate cost based on the size of your home. So it's a really nice website. It's not, you know, totally complete. They try to give a lot here, but we do have to go to some other websites to verify um, some more uh, data, but it gives you a nice rundown. And then if we go back, um, you know, we can see rebates for other things, um, such as electric stove, induction stove. Okay, and it gives you the same sort of details. It tells you you can save up to $840 to pay on your income, and it gives you all the details. Okay, so this creates a lot of awareness, and I think it's helpful. And these are all about the IRA uh, federal funds. And then, so that's the first section is appliance rebates. The second section here is the tax credits. And so uh, a lot of these things, such as the heat pump, for instance, it has both a rebate and tax credit available, again, provided that your state has accepted the rebate. Some things such as the battery storage or solar, it's a tax credit only, okay? And by the way, the solar and the battery uh, tax credits, those are actually available for 2023 onward. And actually we even had it before that, um, but uh, they are available. If you have already uh, made a purchase on one of these items um, that's listed here in the tax credit category, then um, you simply have to fill out a form and you know you want copies of your receipts, et cetera, okay? Um, this rebate programs though here up on the top, it says 2024, you know, and it goes on from there because um, the federal government uh, started allocating the funds in very late 2023, and it takes time for the states to actually get ramped up. Okay, so chances are if you made one of these purchases in 2023, it would not count, but it will going forward in 2024. So in Rewire America, I did input a Florida zip code, and although Rewire America shows that there's uh, rebates available, for the appliances and home improvements. Um, I have done some research and I found out that the Florida governor, he has rejected a $5 million grant from the federal government to administer this uh, energy efficiency program. And, you know, these two uh, programs, the uh, energy efficient uh, appliances and the home improvement uh, programs, again, that are funded 100% by the federal government. Um, they total $346 million for Florida alone. And so um, as of right now, the governor has rejected the funds. They have until August of 2024 to change their mind. But just keep in mind um, that as of the time of this video, these funds are not available uh, for the rebates and home improvements as far as the rebates are concerned. Now, you will still be able to get the tax credits, which is still some money, um, but you won't be able to get the rebates in Florida. So again, you have to check with your state and um, see if they have accepted the federal funds. Personally, uh, you know, I, I don't understand why a state would not accept uh, federal funds that would help low to moderate income homeowners um, do home improvements, energy efficiency appliances that help lower their electric bill. Uh, why, would, why would somebody not accept that? Unfortunately, this is what goes on these days 
but I just want to give a forewarning on this, okay? Um, and, and not meant to talk politics. I'm still just talking about, um, again, helping people get the most uh, out of their money as far as uh, rebates and tax credits and help them lower their electric bill, okay? Solar by Green Greg here. I hope you found this video helpful so far. Hey, if you did, hey, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss my future videos. And also, this lets YouTube know this content is valuable and shows it to more homeowners just like you. So I could help them out also. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Okay, so I've already shown you on Rewire America the tax credits that are available through the federal IRA Inflation Reduction Act. But I'm sure you're probably asking, well, what are the details, right? Because we all know we got to follow the rules. So the first step is to go ahead and put in your zip code. Okay, click on Find Rebates. Okay. And then now it gives you some details. Now you notice here in the sidebar, building products, heating and cooling, okay? Um, just for instance here, we'll click on heat pump, a single package, okay. And then here it gives the details. Now, uh, the tax credits, um, they started in 2023 actually. Uh, some of the ones like solar starting before that. So if you have already made a purchase in 2023, this will apply to you. Um, it goes through 2032 in this case. Um, but it shows you here up to 30% of the cost, up to $2,000. And then you could click on this then to get more details, okay? Who's eligible, you know, about the equipment, you know, what the SEER rating needs to be, for instance, et cetera. So again, a nice uh, website here to get you more details. I will also pin a link of the Energy Star website um, to the comments as well. So you have this website as well, but it's a good way to make sure before you make a purchase, check the Energy Star website and make sure that the unit that you're buying is compliant. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's a real nice website for that purpose. And then for instance, the electric panel upgrade, you click on that. And again, it gives you the details. 30% of the project cost, up to $600. Tells you what the qualifications are, who can use this tax credit, et cetera, okay? These are tax credits, and that means you have to be paying uh, income taxes. And also, um, you get the tax credit when you file your income taxes, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, there are other requirements as well, uh, but again, that's why it's good to have this website. So, okay, we also have uh, electric vehicles. You could click on that, and it gives all the details for electric vehicles. Now, I'm not going to cover electric vehicles in this video, but I might do it on a future video. Let me know if you want me to go to more details, but um, it would take some time to go uh, through that. Uh, but notable is that uh, the tax incentives are available for both new and uh, pre-owned uh, vehicles. So that's pretty interesting. But it's a good way to, before you make a purchase, verify with the Energy Star website to make sure that the appliance or the home improvement or the EV that you're buying uh, does qualify uh, for the tax credit and that you qualify, okay? So I will leave a uh, link to this website uh, pinned in the comments for your reference. Okay, so the tax form uh, for the uh, energy credits, tax credits, is form 5695, and I will leave a link to this form uh, in the pinned comments along with the other links. You file this with your tax return. Okay, so now we're on a website called Desire. And Desire is a website where you could find out about local uh, utility incentives as well as regulatory policies such as net metering. So all you simply have to do here is the search box, 
put in your state or if you want the utility, press enter and then you get a list. And you can see here this Florida PACE program, it's a financial incentive, Miami-Dade County PACE program, um, and so on and so forth. And there's both uh, investor-owned utilities as well as municipal and co-op utilities in this database. And sometimes, by the way, to find out some of these policies, like for net metering or the PACE programs, it's difficult to find out. So this website is a convenient place to find out all the information you need um, on a state and local level. And I'll just show you something here. Uh, for instance, here's Duke Energy Florida, Home Energy Audit and Rebate Program. Let's click on that one. And here you get a program overview. Um, so it tells you here below what sort of incentive amounts are available in the description and then a website link. So you can click this link and get more information. Now sometimes you could try to find this on your own utility website but you know sometimes you have to do a lot of clicking around so it's just convenient to go to desire and again to make sure not only any utility incentives but what the local regulatory policy is and if there's any other incentives that are not involved with the utility. So um, but here's your home energy improvement for Duke Energy. And you tell about how it works. Um, Duke, by the way, requires a uh, home energy check. So make sure you follow all the requirements before you make a purchase. Um, and the guidelines for the utilities um, will be different more than likely than what it would be for the uh, state or uh, federal uh, tax credit rebates. So just keep that in mind. And then here you can see they've got the different uh, rebates available. Attic insulation, duct repair, energy efficient windows, and HVAC. Not all utilities will have all these, and they might be different amounts. So you got to check your own utility. So, so Desire is a great website for local and state information regarding incentives, as well as regulatory policy, including net metering. And so uh, what I'll do is I will, in the pinned comments, leave a link for this website for your reference. Now you may be wondering, well, how do you know if your state um, has the energy rebate programs? So unfortunately, every state has a different website name or a different energy department. So what I would suggest to do is simply uh, Google your state name and energy rebates. Um, so for instance, I Googled, you know, Minnesota, um, energy rebate program and I found the state website. Uh, again, this is for Minnesota. So here you can find out all kinds of information about the programs available based on income, energy assistance, weatherization, reducing energy cost, and you can get some data. So the state will have more details about the rebate programs and how to uh, get those rebates. Now the rebates for the appliances home improvements, again, those are not, they're not tax credits. These are actual rebates that are available at time of purchase. So if you buy a heat pump and you meet the qualifications, um, it'd be taken right off the price of that unit. So again, you have to check with your state. Um, the local contractors should also know about the program in their own state as well, you'd hope. So, but just keep that in mind that there are certain requirements that need to be followed and make sure that you follow them. I will go ahead and leave a link to this website uh, for anybody in Minnesota, but if you're in a different state, you will have to put in, you know, for instance, Florida energy rebate programs and you can find out more details, okay? So now all the websites I've shown you for rebates and tax credits, here's a list, but I'm going to pin these in the comments for your reference. I hope you found this video helpful. Solar by Green Greg here, and on this channel we cover home solar PV and battery, solar pool heating, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without any clickbait or sales talk. You see, I've been in the solar industry now for 17 years, so I know all the tips and the tricks, but I'm also a homeowner just like you, so I know how it is. You know, sometimes you're just trying to do some light troubleshooting or get information, right? 
and you don't want clickbait. If that's you, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a future video. Thank you so much and here's the next video.